Welcome, everybody. Welcome, members of the press and all interested citizens. I'm delighted to see people here this morning. I have a, an urgent message from my heart as an American patriot. Our founders made it very clear what it was that they wanted us, American patriots, to protect above all. They required of us a solemn pledge to defend the system of government that our founders gave us. Not the flag, not even the homeland, but this system of government that is of and by and for the people. And that great system of government is being threatened now in a way that we've never seen. And that's why this contest between Mark Obenshane and me is important. And that's why even conservatives should consider me, the Democrat in this race, as the choice of real patriots. Now, when I launched this campaign recently, I talked about how big money is getting too many of our legislators, including Mark Obenshane, to serve its interest at the expense of ordinary Virginians. One response I got to that was, corruption's been around for a long time. What's the big deal? Well, yeah, corruption is nothing new, but this new kind of corruption is way a great, much bigger danger. And the need to stop it is a big deal. The old kind of corruption was actually like a parasite on the body of America. More people with more money buy more clout and take more than their fair share. But they're not trying to fundamentally change the very nature of America. And that's not true with this new corruption. We can see a big money power working to grab ever more money and power at our expense. And you can see it in the Supreme Court, where five justices in the uh, Citizens United decision decided to open wide the floodgates to let money pour into our elections as never before, putting our government up for auction. And <laughs> And the result is that increasingly, a whole lot gets decided before the people even have a chance to vote. Decided by those who can gather millions of dollars, or in the case of presidential candidates, hundreds of millions of dollars, in order to compete. And that kind of money gives billionaires and giant corporations more and more say in who will rule us and in what path America will take. Even our elections here in Virginia are 10 times more saturated in money than they were just 20 years ago. This flood of money is a terrible thing for democracy. The presidential hopefuls of one of our major political parties felt that they had to visit one individual billionaire, kiss his ring, and hope to get his endorsement because that one billionaire's endorsement is worth more than the votes of countless average citizens. In this new corruption, the money power is destroying our democracy, <clears throat> turning our country into a place where the few rule the many. And we can see the rise of this new corruption in this shadowy organization that has escaped most people's awareness. It's called ALEC the American Legislative Exchange Council. Well, growing up in America, taking civics, we learned that our laws are written by our legislators whom we elect. But that is becoming less and less true. In state after state, including Virginia, laws are being passed that are written by this organization, ALEC, that advance the interests of big money often at the expense of average citizens. Yeah, the laws do get passed by the legislators, but those laws have been written by the big money people who can bankroll the legislators' re-election campaigns. Over 
Over 50 bills, essentially written by Alec, have been introduced into the Virginia legislature, our legislature. And no one better represents this democracy destroying new corruption than two men whose private wealth of almost a hundred billion dollars has been funding not only Alec, but other efforts that are quietly but effectively using their money to get what they want at our expense. I'm talking about the Koch brothers. The Koch brothers have worked with untiring zeal, with a brilliant strategy to transform the America our founders gave us into one where the few call the shots and the many are forced or conned into going along. Because the Koch brothers are so good at using their money to buy political power, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to understand the following fact. When Mark Obenshane ran for statewide office two years ago, the Koch brothers gave him a big chunk of money. And we can assume that the Koch brothers knew that they could count on Mark Obenshane to advance their anti-democracy agenda. And advance it he has, supporting multiple bills in our state legislature that were written not by lawmakers, but by corporations through ALEC. This anti-democracy agenda takes advantage of the issues that divide us, canceling out the will of the people and leaving the field clear for big money to call the shots and for ordinary citizens to get the shaft. It's an agenda at work on a national scale and right here in Virginia. Do you suppose that the rising power of this new corruption has anything to do with the fact that the proportion of our national income now going to the big corporate profits is at an all-time high, while the proportion going to the wages of average American workers is lower than it's been in living memory. Yeah. It would be enough of a big deal if Mr. Obenshane had only bought into the old corruption. You know, doing the bidding of Dominion Power, helping Dominion take more than its fair share, at the expense of more than 37,000 households right here in the district that he is supposed to be serving. But in addition to his being an accomplice to the old corruption, Mark Obenshane has been chosen by the leaders of this new corruption. And I'm running against Mark Obenshane because stopping the advance of this subversive force is the first duty of an American patriot. If we are not willing to fight to protect this great gift our founders gave us, what would we fight for? This is what America needs now from its patriots. Yeah. A recent poll shows that 96% of Americans believe that money is playing too big a role in our politics. 96%. People really get it. The same poll showed that 91% believe that there's nothing they can do about it. What a show of helplessness that portrays. But we have a chance here in the 26th district to show, that, show the 91% of our fellow Americans that we the people are not helpless. We have a chance to show that we are the worthy heirs of our founders. And that's what this contest between Mark Obenshane and me is about. It is not about liberal versus conservative, as he has portrayed it. It is about who will control our government. Will we have government by big money? Or will we have government by the people, as our founders intended? So let's set aside our differences as conservatives and liberals. Let's not focus on the issues that divide us, but let us unite to do the most important task of a patriot, to protect our democracy, to save it from the big money, and restore it to the people. United we stand. Yeah.